Hello, welcome to my channel, Autumn Moon the Mage. This is a general reading in regards to love for Pisces. It is general, so it might not resonate for you. If you were drawn to the video, then perhaps there is a message intended for you here. But if uh, some portion of it really doesn't resonate for you, don't try to force it. So this week, Pisces, I'm doing um, a layout that I believe is called a compatibility layout. It's one that I've been doing for a while, but I don't remember where I picked it up. So <laughs> the, the way what we're looking at, though, is we start with the energy you're bringing to the connection, the energy they're bringing, and then like the connecting energy, what brings the two of you together, what your strengths are as a couple, what your weaknesses are as a couple, and what is the most likely outcome within the next three months for the two of you. Um, we'll clarify any of those that need clarification and possibly get some message cards, definitely an oracle card at the end of the reading. Though. So let's go ahead and get started. Can we see what energy Pisces brings to this connection, please? What energy does Pisces bring to this connection, please? All right, we get the Magician and the Sun. Wow. So the Magician is, um, well, I mean, it's very powerful energy. The Magician can create anything. Um, and the Sun, of course, is the happiest card in the deck. This is Virgo Gemini energy, the Magician. So you might be dealing with one of those signs. This is Leo energy. So um, you might be dealing with a Leo, but uh, the, both of these are major arcana, which is a pretty big deal, I think. And it, it's saying that the energy that you're coming forward with is definitely like focused towards happiness. You definitely are trying to manifest that. Also possibly clarity. The sun can sometimes represent clarity, but but it is joy. That's what the card represents is joy. So trying to manifest happiness and, and clarity and understanding. Um, um, the first, in my mind, I just got this, like, I know I said clarity, but like almost the word, like clear, like really open and clear, like everything is just fully visible. I don't know. Maybe that resonates for someone here. What's the energy of the person connecting with Pisces? What energy are they bringing in? Uh, we get the shadow dance card, which is, which is funny. I don't know. For some reason, it felt like opposite energy just for a second there, but not opposite. The word opposite came to mind, but actually the shadow dance card, this is the devil card, uh, which is also a major arcana, but the devil is also Capricorn. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, in it, traditional tarot, the devil represents like obsession and, um, yeah, it, it can be sort of toxic energy, but also it sometimes represents very like passionate energy, okay? Like physically passionate energy, if you understand what I'm saying, which is actually what it represents in this deck here. In this deck, they tell the story about this creature here who's watching this couple in the forest and how they are so like lost in the haze of their act that they don't really they don't really see anyone else there and it's a beautiful moment you know it's it's something that that he or this i'm saying he but i don't know if it's male or female but whatever this being is here they feel honored to be there you know like i don't know that sounds kind of creepy but it, but it's not a negative thing it's a very natural kind of and and but but it is a lot about physical physical passion and being caught in the haze of that you know so i would say they're coming in with some pretty lusty energy is what i would say let's go ahead and look at the the energy that connects the two of you what is the energy the hanged man so the hanged man um is another major arcana. Wow, that's crazy. 
but the hanged man is um, either gaining a new perspective or really not moving, not moving towards, not taking action. The hanged man is definitely not taking action. He's, he's, and that would be interesting uh, energy that brings the two of you together. But a lack of an a lack of action or uh, a different pers seeing things from a different perspective. Suddenly, like, yeah understanding something in a different way. We'll go ahead and clarify that in just a minute, but we're going to take a look first at your strengths in this connection. What are the strengths in this connection? Oh, the Ace of Cups. Well, that's very open heart, you know. Um, Pisces, that makes sense. But it's, it's a very open heart kind of energy. Um, yeah, the Ace of Cups is looking for love. And Aces represent new beginnings. So it may be that the current strength is that this is new, if it is new. Or that you're, like, reigniting something that... that there is a newness to this, whatever it is, whether it's a new relationship or not, there is this sense of newness. And that is a strength currently for you. And also that you're both um, open. You both have open hearts with this Ace of Cups here. Let's take a look at your weakness. Oh, that came out. Six of Cups. Uh, Six of Cups can represent past uh, Six of Cups often represents past. It re represents a very strong past relationship. And so it may be that um, it, it implies that your history is a weakness here, but not negative history. This is positive history. This is something um, uh, that you remember fondly. Okay. And this is for both of you. So it may be like your past together. Sometimes, for example, uh, sometimes when we first meet someone, uh, or if we met them when we were really young, for example, let's say you met somebody when you were a teen. Okay. And when we're teenagers, we have so many hormones going and so, so much happening inside of ourselves and the way that that, um, affects relationships is there there's a there's a well, well we're naive and we kind of go in like full on um and, and also there's kind of obsessiveness towards each other because it's so new and exciting and all of this and it trying to like recreate that kind of connection, the kind of connection you had in the past when you were much younger and you had less life experience, you had less like, um, you know, hurt in your life, you know, because when you're, when you first start, you haven't experienced any pain yet, you know, and so as you are progressing through relationships, you you are hurt and, and things change for you. It's a, it's a different, you are now a different person and you should be when you're older approaching relationships. So trying to like uh, recreate something from the past or trying to hold on to something that you had a very long time ago and not allowing it to shift and not allowing it to become what it is now, that could be a weakness. That could be something that would hold you back uh, in a relationship. Let's take a look at the most okay, likely future within the next three months. Okay, we get the Hierophant, which is forward movement. You know, that's like taking a step forward um, and progressing in some way. Some, in some cases, the Hierophant represents like, uh, I don't really see it that way. The Hierophant is taking the next step up you know, whatever that is. So if you're, you're in a situation where you're just like dating each other casually, then the next step up would maybe making it, uh, exclusive or, uh, more serious relationship, you know, whatever that next step up is in your connection, that's what the Hierophant represents. Let's go ahead and clarify some of this.
Let's clarify the hanged man. Whoa. Okay, that was messy. We're going to try again. Can you please clarify the hanged man? So what we get is the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Hermit. The Hermit energy definitely um, goes along with that hanged man, because that is some someone who's really uh, gone within. They have a question, and they're looking inside themselves for the answer, which is a really healthy thing to do, especially when we're talking about emotions and relationships, okay? The Six of Wands is victory, and the Two of Wands is planning for the future. It's making a choice and planning for the future. So the Hanged Man... Sorry, I'm trying to see. I was. Uh, I often see the hanged man as a lack of action, um, and that's that's just how he stands out to me so often. Is just not doing anything. But I know that traditionally he's supposed to represent seeing things from a new perspective. With the hanged man, uh, he's hanging there. He's almost sometimes considered like a martyr because he's so positive that he's right. Like he's so sure that the way he sees it is the only way, like is the correct way, and he can't see it any other way. And so he's, I mean, he's willing to like be hung there because he's so positive that he's not wrong. Uh, and as he hangs there, so I mean, there's that very like firm kind of um, unmoving kind of energy there but then as he hangs there he's upside down and he's getting he's seeing things from a different angle and as he hangs there he sees that he there is a different way to look at the situation okay so uh, a lot of times they say that he's gaining a new perspective but for me I just see him hanging there do you know what I mean he's not doing anything he's not moving at all and um when i when i was laying the cards down all week i've been doing this reading this layout is what i mean to say and it, this card has been like the connecting energy and what i'm originally when i learned the layout this was supposed to be what brings you two together like overall like uh, like what what attracts the two of you together what pulls the two of you together but it's been coming out more like the situation where you find yourselves right now like why where is this connection right now and so i i was trying to see it as a new perspective okay but i really see this as just not moving i feel like there's a lack of action happening there's a lot of um internal um internal activity individually there is this um kind of a, a decision that's been made, but but there's still a lot of thought on that decision. It's not like there's no action being taken. There's no steps possibly planning towards uh, moving forward, but really not anything in the physical world taking place to like move the connection together is what what I feel is is being stated with these um, with these cards here. Like, yeah. I just feel like there's not a lot of forward movement. There's just a lot of thought there. Both the Two of Wands and the Hermit are like not moving energy. They In the Two of Wands, a decision's been made, you know, and they're trying to plan out how to get to that. But the Hermit is very, like I said, he, he goes within to answer a question. He's thinking to himself like, and he's looking, he's searching for the answer within himself. So there, there seems to be kind of a stagnancy to the situation, if that makes sense at all. Um, but let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Cups here. Can we clarify the Ace of Cups? 
it's interesting that the strength is something new and the weakness is something old, like something from the past here. That Six of Cups. Can you clarify the Ace of Cups for us? We get the Lovers and the Magician. So that's the Magician coming out twice now. The Lovers and the Magician are both Gemini energy, but the Magician is also Virgo. The Hermit is also Virgo. So you might be dealing with one of those signs, but... Um, the lovers and the magician, yeah, trying to to create this um, this connection, you know, the lovers represents soulmate energy, but it, it's also about following our heart, making the choice to follow our heart and moving in that direction. So yeah, the strength here is I think that you are, you both actually do want to move towards love, you know, you want to move towards um, feeling that that feeling that you get with someone. Um, that like being drawn towards each other you know being feeling that connection with someone it's actually really special and um that's what you want to move towards that's what you're looking for okay let's take a look at the six of cups as your weakness can you clarify clarify those six of cups The Father of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So the Father of Swords is someone who's trying to be really logical. It's also air energy. So again, that's Gemini card there as well. It's this uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here with the Father of Swords. But this is someone who's trying to be really logical about something, you know. And the Seven of Pentacles represents like where you've invested yourself. It's like, honestly, I've invested myself a lot here. You know, I've put a lot into this. I'm not really sure what's going to come of it. But with the Ace of Pentacles here, this is a desire for uh, something new to Aces, like I said, are new beginnings. And, and it, if it's not a fresh start with a fresh, like new person, then it's definitely like restarting something, like giving something a fresh sort of feeling to it. So there's something here about past investment, you know, the seven of pentacles is, it's being in the space of, I've put so much energy, I've, I've nurtured this, I've, I've watered it, I've, I've done everything I can to make these plants grow. And um, I just have to wait, you know, I've given them, I've put them in front of the sun, I've given them everything that I could possibly give, and that now I just need to see what happens. And so it's very much about where you've invested yourself. And so and it may be, this could be looking for um, a fresh start, something different, but it really feels like you want a new, uh, the weakness here is looking for something new in something from the past, you know, like trying to recreate, trying to create some new space in in some space that is um, not, that, that I'm not wording that properly. Let me see here. Uh, maybe what you're looking for, the weakness here is um, looking for that new opportunity. Pentacles also represent like commitment, you know, they represent long-term commitment in something and wanting to really invest yourself in it. So in a, a, very, in a very dedicated way. Okay. Um, and the father of swords, like I said, could represent a person uh, from your past, someone that you've invested yourself in, or it could uh, just be you trying to be really logical about something. But yeah, there's something here about both the Six of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles talk about something that you've already been in. It's something you've already invested in. And this Ace of Pentacles is something new. And it feels weird to say that your weakness is that you're trying to create newness in something that is old because that doesn't seem like a negative, you know, like that is something that we do all 
the time in relationships. If we're keeping our relationship really healthy, then we try to create a newness. You know, we try to, we honor what was, uh, but we try to create something new. And that is generally not a negative thing, but um, that's what's, that's what's showing up here in your weakness in this connection. Um, and maybe it's the way that you're going about it with that father of swords there, that, that king of swords. Perhaps it's the approach, like how you're trying to make it happen. Um, I don't know. You'll have to take this, how it resonates for you and which way it makes sense for you. But yeah, that's what we get for weakness. Let's take a look at the most likely future outcome for the next, within the next three months, the Hierophant here. Can you please clarify the Hierophant? Which is Taurus energy? I don't know if I said that. You might be dealing with the Taurus. Oh, we get the Ace of Cups. Yeah. See, wh whatever's going on, the the most likely future outcome within the next three months is this new beginning. This Ace of Cups, which is your showing up in your strength here. Like you are, you are actually going towards that strength, you know. And um, yeah, you're going to create take this next step up, this like, this Ace of Cups is what's going to happen, you know, this new beginning. So that's awesome. That's really great. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get an Oracle message for you. This deck here is called Notes from the Universe. We're going to get a message for Pisces. Please, can we please get a message for Pisces? Message for Pisces. A lot of cards just dropped back there. That's a, how many we got here? Four. Okay, well, we'll read them all. Maybe one will resonate more for you than others. I'm not sure. Don't be misled, it says. When fear speaks, it's always wrong, unless being chased by wildebeests. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Yeah, this uh, this makes me think of listening to your intuition as opposed to listening to fear. When it, sometimes we, we think something and we're filled with fear, you know, and worry and concern. And that isn't your intuition speaking to you. That's fear speaking to you. And like being able to identify the two, being able to at least identify the fear speaking is super helpful in life. It really is. And it, knowing that that's not reality, that's just you being afraid and allowing yourself to let go of that fear so that you can focus on reality. Um, it really, it really helps a lot and it's uplifting. So yeah, when fear speaks, it's always wrong unless being chased by wildebeests. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. So don't be misled by your fear. Don't let fear mislead you. If they once loved you, they still do. Oh, that's so, because I kind of feel like this is a something coming back around, you know? Um, so anyway, if they once loved you, they still do. Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love, whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. I love these cards. They're so cute. So yeah, if they once loved you, they still do. But love is always, love is always, um, love is never wasted. It's never wasted. It's always given. And uh, it's always a positive when love is given. So it's never wasted. So if it didn't work out in the past, you know, it still changed everything in a way for whoever you affected, okay? But if they once loved you, they still do. I go where you go. Tell me, are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you? <laughs> that for words you've almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken too long begin to heal? That eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye? Remarkable, our findings exactly. And then it says, Psst, your divinity is showing. And this is, I feel like this is saying, um, well, that you, 
that you affect people in a way that maybe you don't understand, you know, sometimes you just being you, and that's the important part, you just being you, you just being you has a really powerful impact on those people around you. And uh, that's what this card is talking about. And it's saying that, that you just being you is how you allow divinity to shine through. It's how you allow spirit or, um, I don't know how to phrase it, but regardless of what your faith is, it, you're letting like almost purity, okay? Uh, the purity is taken the wrong way, but it shines through you is what it's saying here. But really, you just being you, you light up the lives of people around you without even realizing is what it's saying there. But you might not know now, but you will. Think of someone very, very special to you. Now feel yourself bursting with love for them. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak them in that love. Now mentally shower, drench, drench and soak yourself in my love. That's sweet. So, yeah, you might not know now, but you will. It implies that there's something here that you're that that will come to light for you and this this implies that whatever you're feeling for someone else someone feels that for you so and that might be what's being brought to your attention and hopefully i mean it looks like this person that you're connecting with but all right pisces that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed the reading i hope it resonated for you if it did i'd love to hear about it you could post a comment below or like the video um that would be really great. But if not, that's okay as well. Thank you for watching the reading. I do really enjoy reading tarot. So I appreciate your support in that way. So I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you remember to move forward with positive thoughts and positive words so you can draw more positivity into your life. And I hope I see you back here again next week. Bye.